Welcome back everybody. In this video we're going to check out a sweet new red dot I got and uh, we're going to stick it on my shotgun and I'm going to use it for turkey hunting next year. I used a red dot this year that had some pluses and minuses to it but overall it worked out pretty good. But first off I'm looking at a woodchuck in the field out back here. I got Shane's 22 Creedmoor set up and I'll show you where that woodchuck is. It's right there. It's right at 200 yards, so I'm going to go ahead and get get uh, loaded up, and we're going to launch one with that woodchuck right here. Okay, we're on them. I'm going to get on the gun and launch one down range. I bet that woodchuck's in trouble. Well, I am not really sure what to tell you on that one other than I owe you 10 push-ups. I should have never ever in a million years missed that woodchuck. If he comes back out, we're going to get to throw our wind mag out and blow that thing into next week. Okay, it's only been about 10 minutes since I missed that woodchuck out here. And uh, I can already see it standing back up, so we're not playing around anymore. We got the big gun out. And we're gonna kill that chuck, so I'll get the camera on it and we're gonna launch one. Okay, that woodchuck is in so much trouble, it doesn't even understand what kind of trouble it's in. Here we go. He's dead. Giving us the old uh, death tail right there is what we call that. 300 wind mag at 200 is is uh, almost a little too easy. I don't know what happened with that 22 Creed. If I shot a little low or a little high, I'm not sure. But anyways, that bugger's dead. Let's go check it out and then I'll show you the red dot. Okay, here's the chuck right here. Ha! Look at that. Guess what that little thing is right there. That would be his tongue. Entirely severed from the woodchuck's mouth. It's definitely what that is, a little woodchuck tongue. So I'm going to venture to say that bugger's face is pretty jacked up. So if you're a fan of heart and you don't want to see this type of thing, now would be a good time to leave this video. But if you want to see what the 300 wind mag does to a woodchuck's face, here it is. Gone. We're not even going to show that very much because of how nasty that is, but I shot him right from... Uh, Right from there, there's a 200 yard shot right here to this little grass muncher, and he's no longer munching any grass. I actually missed him once with a 22 Creedmoor, but he came back out 10 minutes later and that was the end of him. Let's check out this red, uh, this new red dot sight I got for my uh, turkey gun. It's been a few days since you've seen that woodchuck lose his head due to the 300 wind mag, but uh, we're gonna sit down and we're gonna check out this OTW RS25 reflex sight. 
Uh, this is something I'm going to put on my shotgun for turkey hunting next year. I used the red dot this year, like I said earlier on this video. Uh, it worked great other than the fact that sometimes I had battery issues or the bright brightness uh, of the red dot issues. But otherwise, those are issues that I think are going to be fixed with this one in particularly. So we're going to go ahead and unbox this. We're going to see what's inside. Uh, I'm not going to get into a lot of the specific details about it. If you want to know any specifics, I'm going to put uh, everything in the description of this video as well as a link to this. Unfortunately, this isn't going to be uh, in stock until June 13th on Amazon. Right now, they sold out. Uh, so obviously, they must be doing something right if people are buying them you know, this much. Uh, I've seen it on there and it looks like a, a great deal for a good red dot. You know, it's not a super expensive uh, red dot, but it's not a super cheap red dot either. Uh, you know, the price is on the Amazon link below. I believe it's $49 or something like that. Don't quote me on that. I think that's right around where it is. But let's go ahead and unbox this and see what's inside. Okay, so when you open it up, first thing we got is a little Allen wrench. And we got uh, the mounting and operate operation instructions here. Then we got a lens cleaner wipe. Then we got a CR2032 battery. And then here's our reflex sight right here. Boy, I like how tight that was packaged in there. There's no rattling around with that. Here's the sight itself. First thing you notice, holding on to it, is that it's, you know, it's a nice sturdy feeling setup here. It doesn't feel cheap at all. Here's your different reticles right here on the bottom. Let's see. I don't know if there's a battery in there already or not. I don't see anything coming up if there is. Oh, yeah, there is a battery in there. I didn't see any. I didn't see it turn on though. Oh yeah, there it goes. Just turned on right there. That's on 11, we'll take it. There we go. That's what it actually looks like right there. Then we'll go back to this other circle for you. Once it focuses. There it's focused. I like how sharp it is. You know, it's not a big red dot in there, pretty much. Then you got a big, uh, you got a big circle, and then a little circle, so you can get really fine adjustments on it. We'll zoom out here, but I like that. It already looks really good to me. We'll put it back on zero, and uh, it just mounts to a Picatinny rail. So we're gonna go ahead and get my shotgun and get it mounted up and uh, sight it in with some uh, bird shot. To uh, put on your Picatinny rail, all you do is loosen up these Allen screws here, and then uh, line them up wherever you want them. I think right about there's about right for me. And then you just tighten them up on this side. Really pretty simple. And then make sure that's nice and tight and then you're all ready to roll. The sight is all set up and ready to rock and roll on the shotgun here. So let's go out and sight it in. 
So our first target here is only going to be at about 15 yards. We just want to make sure we want to try to get that pattern figured out as close as we can because it's probably going to be way off at first and then we'll start adjusting the red dot. Okay, so at first I'm just going to sight it in with some uh, reloads that I made. I don't want to use my expensive turkey loads to uh, to start off with. I'll get it you know, right on target right here at 15 yards and then uh, once we get it on target we'll shoot it at 30 with uh, you know my turkey loads but you'll see try to find that red dot for you zoom in on it in here and get it focused so you can see what it looks like there we go that's what we're looking at Okay, now we'll go look at it and see what adjustments we need to make. Well, I actually didn't even hit the paper, but it looked like I could see my pattern at the bottom of the target, so I think we're gonna need to go up and to the left a little bit. We'll try that, and then we're gonna go to the left. A little bit, Let's see what that does. Oh, I don't even need to go look at that. I can just see looking at the camera that it hit kind of right in between those papers and low. So I need to go up and to the left some more. Okay, it looks like I need to go a little bit to the left and then we're gonna be right on the money. So I adjusted to the left a few clicks and we got a new piece of paper up there. So this one should be pretty darn close to being right on the money here. We got a new target up there and this one should be right about on the money, I'm thinking. I moved it, adjusted it to the left again. Let's go to the left a little more. Okay, so I've made some adjustments and we'll see how this one uh, how this one does. It should be right on the right on the money here. So we need to go back to the right a little bit. Okay everybody, I think I'm right about where I want to be. I want to be a little bit high over the bullseye right here at 15 yards. So we'll shoot these targets and make any little adjustments we have to, but it should be pretty close to on. Yep, I'm right where I want to be, I think. She sighted in. I think that's going to be a turkey slam machine. Now, uh, now that we got her dialed in with these these rounds, we'll take a few turkey loads and we'll set one. We'll set a target up down there at 40 yards and let one rip and see how it does. But that's right where I want it. I want a little high at 15 yards, which is exactly what each one of these targets are showing. So, let's set up a target for the long shot. Okay, this is the target we're gonna shoot out at 45 yards. And I got a three inch Winchester XR number four shot here. And uh, we're gonna aim right here at this shoulder spot just so there's a central aiming point so I can kind of see my pattern even in this. So let's go set this up and then we're gonna shoot it. Okay, target set up at 45 yards, and we're going to aim right at the center of that target, right on that bugger's shoulder blade. Just so we have a central aiming point, and we know how our pattern is at that distance. Okay, let's go check it out. There it is. I'd say at uh, 45 yards. We got a very dead turkey. I was aiming right here. A lot of my pattern hit a little bit above it, which is what I kind of what I want. So good deal. I think the overall I'll tell you 
I like that sight. Uh, it's nice and bright. It's easy, easy to turn on and off, easy to make sure it's on off, and uh, it's not going to get... One of the issues I had with my other one was it was easy to accidentally turn on. Say if you set it in the back of your truck and hit a bump or something on a dirt road, you could actually hit that button that was right on top and turn it on, and then you didn't even realize you turned it on, and then next thing you know, you're out of battery. But with this one, it's a click on and off, you know, click the different uh, brightnesses, and then you have the different reticle styles you can you can choose from. Overall, I think it's a great, a great sight, and uh, I'll be using it next turkey season, and you'll want to see that, because there'll be turkeys flopping due to that sight. So, thanks for watching. Huge thanks to all the patrons of the channel. If you guys are interested in checking this thing out, uh, the link's in the description. Have a good one, everybody.